you don't do this, you come to this little corral yes. and then you change your... Here we are at the start of Equinox 24, 2018 and we're going to be sitting off that way any minute. I'll keep you posted as we go. And we're off! So that's it, 24 hours to go. I want to just start and get off. See you, the map. First time across the bridge. Yeah. Hopefully, many more. So that's the first 5k done, <coughs> depending on the weather and how it all goes. Only another 95 to go. See you in a bit. Yeah, so that's first time over the finish line. We are going to get slammed with a stone by the sounds of it from tonight onward. So it could be bloody rough. But, uh, fingers crossed, nine more of these. About nearly 12k in. As you can probably see, the rain's just started. I think uh, we get a bit of this for a couple of hours and then it's supposed to stop for a bit and then come in and I think early morning along with the uh, stormy wind but doing all right first time your has been taken so they're down uh, it's a very cold night didn't sleep well at all and didn't feel at all well this morning to be honest but not doing too bad now without one because uh, rain's getting heavier Fifteen k done. Still moving, just about. Just coming up to the drink station, so looking forward to that. Definitely need a little slope. Haven't seen any of the rest of uh, Team Gabriella on course yet. But, uh, probably start overlapping the match a little. It's just gentle drizzle at the moment. If occasionally gets a bit heavier, but at least we haven't got the gale force wind yet. Fingers crossed. Go on, Roz! Sprint finish! <laughs> Who said it wasn't going to rain seriously till tomorrow? Absolutely pissy way through. lap two. It's got pretty cold now and bloody wet. But it's still going. Still smiling. Hello. Now that's the way to do the race. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Choose one for me. That one, that one, orange one. Thank you very much. Cheers. But, uh, doing all right. Uh, changed into a bit of, not that you'd notice, but dry clothes underneath. Just at the end of that last lap. So feeling kind of a bit dry, a bit warmer, which is nice. And then at the end of this lap, the plan is uh, dry pair of socks. Still be wet trainers, but uh, dry pair of socks will be very nice. Um, and even more importantly, jack potato. Jack and potato with beans and cheese and a really strong black coffee. Will be lovely. And I can get that going and get it digesting while I go out on lap uh, five. See you in a bit. <laughs> To lose the light now. We've had the manager shout that you've got to, from this point on, have a head torch with you, so it's in the old pocket. Well, folks, there you go. That is 44 kilometres, so that's the marathon. So every step I now take that way, 
is in ultra territory. That sounds damn good to me. I'm uh, really struggling now. Uh, next time I'm back to the tent, it's definitely time for some more ibuprofen. Um, left Achilles is really painful. I'm going to have to see if I can find somebody, see if I can get it strapped up. So now it's pretty much fast walk with the poles. Unless it's downhill, I'll run the downhills. But other than that, it's just one foot in front of the other. So there's the campsite. And actually, almost a little sunset, look. That makes a nice change. This is my view for probably the next nine hours. Oh, it's quarter to ten. Been going for nearly ten hours. So, uh, time for some sweet chilli chicken noodles. We seem to have a moon, but also rain at the same time. Work that one out. So it's just coming up for the end of uh, lap seven. Just at the physio tent because I need some strapping on my Achilles and my ankle. Try and keep it going. Uh, nine laps done, so 90k. It's now half past one in the morning, and that's me done. I need to get my head down, I think, try and get my head down till dawn. Then I don't need the head torch. And then it's one more lap to do the 100k, and then anything after that's a bonus. But I think I'm, I've definitely done part of that last lap with my eyes closed, so I think it's time to pack it in. See you later on in the morning. Here I am walking back up to the start again for lap number 10. Sleep deprived rookie mistake. I was just about to set off and realised I hadn't put my number back on these, these clean shorts. So no timing chip. As I say, rookie mistake, but there you go. So round two, let's try that again. Or about. 2k into lap 10 and obviously when I'm not burbling at you guys it's so peaceful it's a beautiful place well you might be able to hear the pack of hounds behind me such a beautiful place I'd love to have a proper walk around the estate and get right into the woodlands some beautiful trees in there So yeah, there are a few club runners still running, other than that most people are staggering about like the walking dead. Once more up not that hill, and to the top of not that hill again, hooray! So that's just beyond, just past 5k, and the music's still going. That's some morning tunes. Oh, this is tough. <clears throat> I'm just coming up to what's this 8k, so 98 kilometers. And I'm definitely getting to the uh, my weepy stage now. As long as nobody's nice to me, then I'm all right. Last time round this field. Woo! So I think I've passed the 1k mark, so that's 101 kilometres. No Dalmatians in sight. Woo!
Ooh, there's some sore looking people about. Here we are at the 2k mark, so that's 102 kilometres. Thanks to everybody who sponsored me and sent me positive vibes. It definitely helps. There's a little bit of spitting going on. Hopefully it won't come down too hard. It'd be nice not to pack away a really wet tent. But hey, the least of me worries at the moment. So uh, that was the 2k mark there. So 8k to go. And then that's it. Gotta keep going. Left foot forwards, right foot forwards, and repeat. That's the name of the game. Last time up that hill. This could take some time. Well, one more bit down the hill, so I'll run that. And then it'll be a walk to the campsite. And then try and do kind of a final K shuffle. And then that's it. Woo! Last time I crossed the bridge. <laughs> Thank goodness. Here we are on the home straight. That's it.